Right now, Metro Detroit hospital systems are finding themselves in the middle of a very difficult situation. Yeah, they really are, Devin. It's leading to layoffs and furloughs for medical workers, and that now includes the DMC. Larry Spruill is live tonight with the hospital's decision to furlough 480 workers, Larry. And Kimberly, it says that it was a tough decision, but it was something they had to do in light of what's going on with the coronavirus. They had to furlough hundreds of employees here until things start to get back to normal. 480 employees here at Detroit Medical Center got the news they did not want to hear. Detroit Medical Center is furloughing those employees due to tough situations at the hospital because of the coronavirus. Hospital leaders say with stay at home orders and government restrictions on elective procedures, some hospital employees not related to COVID-19 crisis or other critical patient care needs have been temporarily closed or ramped down. The hospital released this statement Wednesday, saying in part, we have taken steps to divert additional resources to COVID-19 care and other urgent medical procedures that cannot be deferred. This includes reducing costs and hours worked and implementing furloughs of certain jobs were needed. But there is somewhat good news in all of this. The hospital also stated we are providing all furloughed employees with medical benefits, support consistent with their elections at no cost to them. Now, the big question is, how long will this furlough last? And as of right now, no one seems to have that answer. The hospital is hoping the staff members impacted can return back to work once things get back to normal. They ended the statement with this. We remain appropriately staffed to provide our full support to treat patients in greater Detroit. And I did ask to speak with, to someone here at the hospital on camera, but they declined. We are live at Receiving Hospital in downtown Detroit tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.